everybody. My name's Mark. Welcome to 2000 Hours of Banjo. Congratulations. We did it. We broke 365 hours, the first year's worth of hours. Of course, I have the three and a half months that I took off to let my finger heal. But other than that, 365 hours. In fact, today is actually 377 hours. And you're probably asking, 2000 Hours of Banjo, why didn't you do a big episode for 365. I did and somehow the volume didn't record and I did I ran out of time last weekend so here we are at uh, 377. Have I been saying 277? 377, 365. That's where we're at 377 hours and just FYI here are a couple of interesting things. Um, I re-picked up um, after letting my finger heal at around 270 hours. Here we are 377 hours and I have for the most part my calluses back. So if you ever wondered how long it takes to get calluses, about a hundred hours if you're playing um, every day, an hour a day. They did not all come back at the same time. The ring finger came back first and then the index finger pinky and then and then the middle finger came last i don't know why that is i guess that's how often i'm hitting those or using those fingers but anyway about 100 hours and you'll get your calluses back also interesting to note i've been noticing that um my playing has been suffering over the past few weeks like i felt really I don't know how to say it, um, lack of confidence, especially in my right hand, not so much in my left hand, actually not at all in my left hand. I already know I need help there, but I was like losing a lot of confidence in my left, in my right hand as I was picking, especially around the thumb. And it turns out I wore out my thumb pick. Now I know what it feels like to wear out a thumb pick. Um, it started to, to move around on your on your thumb and if you're a banjo picker like I am if If your thumb pick moves a little bit it throws everything off or at least it throws everything off for me Anyway, so those are some interesting things. Um, what else do I have? I have some notes down here So if I'm looking down, that's what I'm doing. I'm looking at my notes. Oh, by the way, if I can do it I'll add those little animated streamer cannons to celebrate the the over 365 hours um, if you haven't noticed not only am i new to banjo I'm, I'm new to video editing all this crap is new to me i don't know how to do any of it so it's super duct tape amateur production that we do here at 2000 hours of banjo um, no new songs to celebrate 365 i'm actually still working on the material that I have been working on. Uh, my last lesson with my instructor, um, Mike pointed out a lot of things that I need to kind of fix, especially with the um, fourth and fifth ways, actually third, fourth and fifth ways of playing backup, the, the mic heading material that I've been working on. But let's go ahead and jump in, enough jabber. Let's jump into what I'm doing and how things are going.
Let me start that one over again. <laughs> And this is where I've kind of taken a small setback, but it's actually okay. It's actually really good because I was making a big mistake in the third way of playing uh, backup for Wagon Wheel that I didn't know I was making. I know previously in a video, uh, even the last video I think it was, I was saying I was having a hard time going from, I believe this is D, um, to E minor and um, for somehow it, it, it escapes me but I was doing that wrong I was I was I was using these two fingers instead of these two fingers so these are the fingers I should be playing the D chord because this is the rest of of that D chord. So I don't know why or how I got onto these two fingers. I did check the tab and the correct way is with these. So I, I don't know, I just misread the tablature and started using these fingers. So a little bit so I'm gonna have to play that slower for quite some time the other part of um, this is gonna be now the fourth way of playing backup on that mic heading uh, material I need to emphasize a couple of things one is going to be that part and said because previously I was just kind of blending it together but I really need to snap it down And then here, I need to be careful. This is a this is a um, quarter note. I'm sorry, an eighth note that I need to be careful not to make a sixteenth note. So it is a pluck of the fourth string, and then you hammer down on the fourth string while plucking the third string simultaneous. And I think I've been splitting that into a 16th note like that and I don't want to be doing that I want to be simultaneous keep that keep that eighth note um, and not split it into into a 16th note
pretty good. I thought those sounded pretty good. That's everything. Of course, there's also the vamping, uh, which I'm super terrible at. beautiful and then of course I started with uh, Mana Constant Sorrow which I think is coming along pretty good I was pretty happy with the rendition I did at the beginning of this so um, I am still pulling it apart and working measure by measure and repeating those to try to get those down because quite a few of them are very tricky particularly the um landing that is, is <laughs> taking a lot of repetition to be able to do that. Anyway, thanks for tuning in this, this week. Uh, again, congratulations to all of us. We made past 365 hours. Pat ourselves on the back for that one. Hopefully we'll hit 7.30 by the end of this year. I've got some practicing in order to hit that 7.30. So I will see you next time. Take care.